how can I follow that? <laughs> well, I guess you guys have already learned a lot about me today. Uh, I've impregnated a male. I'm, uh, I'm an overweight ninja that loves Jimmy John's. And I frequently touch flaccid penises. I guess we're here to have fun. So, um, before the show went on, uh, my mom had a heart-to-heart with me, and she's like, David, I know that you like to get vulgar, and I know that's something that you think you do, and that's how your comedy should work. So, I'm still going to love you, no matter what you say. I'm like, okay, thanks, Mom. Like, thank you for that validation. Like, you know, thank you for giving me that, like, go for it. So, Mom, this is for you. (laughs) I always think it would be funny to fuck a black girl. (laughs) Now... Let me back up here. You're there in the moment, doing whatever you're doing. You know, I'm giving my 110%. She's mildly enthused. Right? Someone knows my 110%. Woo! Maybe more people do. Anyways, so at the end of the night, you know, I'm like, oh, man, I'm sleepy. So I get ready to lay down and take a David Graves nappy nap. And all of a sudden, she's like, well, I guess I'll fall asleep, too. At this moment, this is where it gets serious. I'm like, oh no. So I gather up all of her things, I set it in front of her, and in my serious face I go, Shanene don't live here no more. (laughs) And I point out the door. (laughs) That's how it's funny. (laughs) So uh, the other morning I got up really early for work. I'm like, you know, I might as well treat myself. I'll make myself some breakfast. So I got the bacon, and I got the eggs, I made a little hash browns, I got fucking fancy with it. And so I'm sitting there, watching Dora the Explorer, and all of a sudden, I hear my upstairs neighbors just going at it. Like, I'm hearing that, I'm like, okay, so I turn up Dora, I'm like, I just, I, I don't want to be a part of this. And then, all of a sudden, like, they just, like, kick into overdrive, it's like they hear Diego, and they're like, we need to go louder. Of course, yeah, Diego gets everyone going. <laughs> That's not appropriate. <laughs> so so they, get, they get more and more at it, and all of a sudden I hear her, the lady in the, in the ordeal, go, Oh, yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> at this point, immediately, I fucking thought of the scene of Gladiator, like, Are you not entertained? <laughs> And I really hoped he just kind of did this. <laughs> and a fucking tiger ate her. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. No tiger ate her yet. I've seen her around. <laughs> so, uh, Aaron Hernandez has been in the news a lot lately. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Aaron Hernandez was a football player. He played for the New England Patriots. And supposedly, he killed some dude and left his body in a lake in Connecticut. Which I think is kind of funny. I wish he would have let me know. (laughs) I mean, I have an ex-wife in Connecticut. (laughs) Right, yes. Everybody who has an ex-wife in Connecticut knows that she should be murdered. (laughs) That's going to get back to her. I'll get a really bad email. So... I like Facebook a lot, and I'm on it a lot, because, I mean, I need to be, at least I feel like I need to be, it's just addicting, it's already pumping through my veins, but I think it's fucking funny how it tells you things that you should like, like, you make a comment on something, it's like, you should like birthday cakes, and, like, you cake birthday cakes, and there's a fucking like button, well, the other day, Facebook told me that I should like God, (laughs) now, me and God, we're cool. We're on our own separate ways. He does what God stuff does. I do David Grave stuff. I, I know that I'm doing my stuff, so I, you know, I'm far better off. But uh, I clicked on his Facebook page just to see what God was up to, what he's liked, what games he's played. <laughs> and I guess there's something like 8 million people who've clicked like on God. And they're like, fuck yeah, God, I will like God on Facebook. I was like, God damn, 8 million people. I wonder who has more likes than God. 14.4 million people like chocolate chip cookies. Seriously, how is this a staple of our society? 
the lordy creator of supposedly everything, who I guess some people could argue created chocolate chip cookies, but chocolate chip cookies is like, fuck your face, and loves people love them more. And I love it. But here's where the system gets awkward. 58.6 some odd million idiots love the Justin Bieber. <laughs> so it really puts you into a weird conclusion where we are with our society. It kind of brings this whole chocolate chip analogy to a really weird start. You all right? You all right? I don't want you to, I mean, I, don't, I know you're pregnant with my child. I don't want anything bad to happen between you and I. It's all good. It's all good? All right. It's all good. All right. As long as, that, as long as you've been drinking, we'll be fine. I fed him. We're fed good. Him. Jesus Christ. By the way, it has under a million. Just so you know. Do people like dirty jokes? Yes. Well, that's good, because this one works. How can you tell if a deer is too young? Her vagina feels a little doughy. It's a thinking man's bestiality joke. Seriously. It is. Speaking of perverted things in the woods, I really think the gayest thing, one of the gayest things that a group of men can do is go hunting. Because think about it, you're just a bunch of dudes alone in the woods wearing neon colors and matching uniforms. You're there getting drunk, soaking in the beautiful nature. They're having guy time for countless hours on end. I mean, come on, you have your rivals, which is just really an extension of your dick. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Hunting joke, I go too far in northern Michigan, but when I make racial jokes and talk about how Jesus isn't liked on Facebook, everybody's having a fucking field day? <laughs> All right. All right, you're right. Fuck me. Any day. <laughs> Any day of the week. Oh, piss. It was hard growing up in the David Graves household. My uh, my dad was a uh, he was never really around, and when he was around, he was a little abusive. He was a blackjack dealer. He hit me until I was twenty one. Oh! And we laugh at child abuse too. It's fucking beautiful. Hate you guys. So in all serious though, anybody out there watch the WNBA? No. no. I didn't think so. I really didn't fucking think so. Because it's just, I don't understand the WNBA. And I don't understand it because who knows any of the team names? I mean, do we have like what? The Milwaukee Milfs? The San Diego Saddlebags? The Cincinnati Cunts? <laughs> Woo! No, wait. That's a fierce fucking team name. The Cincinnati Cuns. Because think about it. If you're out there going to a WNBA he game, heaven forbid, you're there with your bros going to be like, hey, man, let's go to the fucking Cunts game. So you get your guys in your car, you head on your way to the stadium, the Cunts stadium, and you're there picturing your tickets, and if you don't have a ticket, you go to a Cunt scalper to get your scal scalped tickets. <laughs> You're there buying, you know, you get into the game, you buy your refreshments, probably some tacos. <laughs> and you're there enjoying the game. And as, you, as you're watching these ladies perform and doing their best with their fundamentals, you understand that these cunts are getting mighty sweaty. <laughs> but they're putting in a good effort. They work really hard for their, what they have. <laughs> really, this whole joke was just for me to say cunt like 16 fucking times on stage. <laughs> <laughs> And I enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys did too. So I hate CVS. It's not necessarily I hate CVS. I just hate this guy that works at the CVS here in town. He gave me a really bad complex the other day. I go in there to buy David Graves things, which is you know shampoo and conditioner because I got to keep this looking good. I buy some Arizona iced tea because I want to stay refreshed. And so I get in line, and there's two people ahead of me in line. And there's this beautiful, beautiful 18-year-old girl, legs for days, and the guy's just flirting away with her, just being charming and delightful and everything else in between. I'm like, right on, guy. Go for that number. Try to, try to hit on her. You know, she goes on her own way. And the next lady steps up, and she's elderly broad, this little Betty. And he's there, just same idea, just being charming with her and flirting. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, he must be just be really personable. 
just be really nice to these people. So a little old lady goes on her way, and David Graves comes up. I set my stuff there on the counter. I'm ready to have a really nice conversation with him. But this guy is just strict fucking business with me. Doesn't look me in the eye. Doesn't even want to talk to me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I guess he's only friendly with women. I get it. I get my shit. I swipe the card. Get out of the way. As I'm leaving, I'm hearing him having another conversation with people, and I decide to look to see what the lady who he's talking to now. I kid you fucking not. It's the same guy, pretty much just as me, same height, maybe a little less manly facial hair, but that's about it. And then I started thinking to myself, why doesn't the CVS guy like me? <laughs> What's wrong with David Graves? <laughs> I know. So I go home, pour a bottle of scotch, <laughs> turn on Dora, and I start thinking, I'm like, man, like, what is wrong? And I keep thinking, like, I should go back there and confront him, and, or like, write him a letter, be like, what can I do to make your day better, CVS man? I never did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much.